What's up, YouTube? My name is Derek Cooper. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and this is my first ever YouTube video on here. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about a wash and go method that I like to use on myself personally. I use this method about once a week. And I'm basically going to be using after I'm going to be using flaxseed gel. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that actually right now. I said later on in the video because as we'll just find out how to make it. So when we actually get to that point, we can just use it and don't have to worry about it for it later on. All right. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Particularly for this flaxseed gel, there's only a few things that you're really gonna need. It's not a lot. Um, so go ahead and have yourself a measuring cup. That's the first thing that you wanna have. Next thing you wanna have, you wanna have yourself a strainer. I actually got this strainer from down the street at my local grocery store for like $1.99. Go ahead, go to the 99 cent store, go get you one. And what else you're gonna need? You're gonna need you guys some whole flaxseed, whole flaxseed. I'm gonna keep saying whole, whole flaxseed. Look at it. Look at it! 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 I want all of you to look at it! It's whole flaxseed. You don't want to get finely milled flaxseed because, look, I made that mistake, all right? I'm not even gonna lie to you. I made the mistake of getting milled flaxseed. It was all crushed up, powdery like, and I still try to make it. I mean, it's possible to make it if you have a little stocking, I guess, but why give yourself the trouble of having to filter it more and more and more? You can just use whole flax seeds because whole flax seeds is way more easy to strain and you get a lot more gel out of it too as well. So make sure it's whole flax seeds. Save yourself the trouble and get yourself some whole flax seeds. So make sure you have some flax seeds, make sure you have a measuring cup. That's all you need. All right, y'all, so go ahead and take two cups of water and put that in the pot take one fourth of a cup of flax seeds and bring it to a bowl. Go ahead and grab you something you'll be able to strain the gel from the seeds. And once the seeds look like they're forming at the top of the water, go ahead and turn off your stove. All right, you guys. So this is the consistency that I'm looking for right here. If you guys want a more thicker texture, go ahead and leave the stove on for just a little bit longer. So right now I'm just gonna detangle my hair with my fingers. You can use a comb as well, but honestly, I just feel like I lose more hair that way. So I just tend to stick with my fingers. I'm using this Jamaican black castor oil shampoo by Shea Moisture. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a nice moderate size amount of the shampoo, mainly focusing on my scalp only. I'm gonna run the shampoo through my hair. I'm not really worrying too much about the tips because I just wanna actually just focus on my scalp and getting it cleansed. All right guys, so now go ahead and grab any type of condition you guys have. I'm gonna be using Shea Moisture again, and this time the Curl and Shine Conditioner. And I'm gonna make sure to take a nice good size amount of the extra conditioner. So the same way I was detangling my hair from earlier, this time I'm actually taking the conditioner and running it through my hair. Go ahead and grab yourself a little shower cap. And for about 15 to 20 minutes, sit yourself underneath a dryer. Once the time is up, go ahead and wash out the conditioner and we can move on to the styling part. Forgot to mention, make sure there's no conditioner left in your hair. You don't want that to happen. So make sure you get all the white out your hair, all the condition out your hair and everything. So now I'm actually gonna put my product in my hair. Uh, the only two things I'm gonna be using in my hair is, like I said, the flaxseed gel that I have right here. And also as well, I have my own leave-in conditioner that I made. This is actually for me making, um, for me actually using aloe vera, but actually just the juice of aloe vera. Put that in there and I mix it with some essential oil, vitamin E oil, castor oil, stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna be using the rest of this, sadly. I'm gonna be making some more. I'm gonna show you guys how I make that in the next video as well. I mean, at this point, there's not much left in this. So I could just, presumably if I wanted to, take this out and kind of spoil my head, but. 
It's trying to be proper here. Oh, I'm actually finna just be a little risky here and just take this off. Take off my ring too. And then, ooh! I'll pull it out. Go ahead, just put that on your head, man, at this point. Now it's time for me to put the flex seat in my hair. Take about maybe some at a time. What I like to do is kind of like to separate my hair a little bit by grabbing on. And I just put some in the section. And I literally just kind of comb through it and run through it with my fingers in a way. A few moments later. I'm actually gonna skip to when I finish doing this, or I'm gonna just speed it up for you guys. But y'all see how it's looking with the flex seat gel, actually. More moments later. That's how it looks like after I have the product all throughout my hair and everything on here. Yeah. Um, I'm show you guys how it looks. Let's go ahead and get a little closer. All right, you guys. So that basically concludes my video for today. If you guys like this content, go ahead and do me a favor and leave a like on this video. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys want any future content that you guys want me to do in the future, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below as well. Thank you for watching my video and I am out.